Anyway, well, I, uh, right, that, we got something with Mozza now. Mozza, you didn't tell me that you um had a, an incident before. What? You think you want to tell us, Mozza? I got it right here. It's, this is your chance to come clean. I've been framed, cunt. Okay. Uh, <laughs> correct. Whenever, whenever someone says they got something, you just say, what the fuck me? What me? <laughs> All right, so a TikTok challenge leaves teen with burns covering 75% of his body. Uh, this reminds me of like the time when like um, kids were like eating fucking eating, pie pods. And shit like eating that. pie pods. <laughs> now, this makes me okay, think I, like I, I, think the... I might say something a little, little bit wild here, but I kind of supported the Tide Pod challenge. Oh, well, I was I mean, getting rid of the dickheads. Um... Exactly, because you got to remember these kids are going to grow up one day and they might find themselves in like, you know, prominent positions within the world and if this was a kid that was tempted to eat a tide pod i don't think they should be in charge of a country or something like that so but this I is think we don't have enough tide pods. What, this, what, this this, what this just makes me think i don't know what the challenge is and obviously we'll go through it and it'll probably tell us what the challenge what is generation? but this reminds me of like planking there were people that died oh, from doing I the planking challenge there were people like what about the person that put gorilla glue in her hair like, oh, whatever happened to that oh, bitch? Oh, yeah. She got taken she, care of. Yeah. She got taken care of by Gorilla Glue because yeah. they never put a warning on it to say, don't put it in your hair. It was so stupid. She basically sued him and got away so with it I, for being an absolute jobs, moron. One of my previous jobs was in work health and safety, right? And um, when I was, like, learning everything there, the one thing that they kept drilling into my head, like, the person that I worked under, she was an angel, but she swore worse than anyone I ever met in my life. But she used to drill into my head. She used to go, people are fucking retards. Like, yep. if you think something with a 1% chance can happen, it will happen down the line. Because, like, we'd be, like, marking shit off and stuff. And I'll go, like, oh, come on. Surely no one's going to fucking put their hand on that. It doesn't need a label on it. And she'd be like, no, some fucking retard will put their hand in it and lose their fucking arm. So you've got to make everything retard proof. Yep. Which I personally disagree with. But that's just how things are at the moment. Yeah, but anyway, uh, Blanche, can you please read this? Oh, Her you eating? Fall. Uh, wow, I'm getting that gonorrhea test? Fine, I'll do it. Uh, TikTok challenge leaves teen with burns covering 75% of his body. Imagine being this kid's, like, mum and dad. Be like, what the fuck are you doing? You dumb cunt. <laughs> Little shit. Oh, yeesh. Okay, uh, teenager Mason Dark has been left disfigured with severe burns covering 75% of his body after dangerous TikTok challenge went horribly wrong. So obviously that's terrible, you know, it sucks that the kid got burnt, but I mean, what's with all this? Anyway, a 16 year old a blowtorch. Exactly. What are you doing with a fucking blowtorch, you little shit? A 16 year old TikToker and football player was hospitalizing, uh, sorry, hospitalized after attempting to create a makeshift blowtorch with spray paint and a lighter. Listen, I understand getting bored of doing fucking dumb shit with fire. I do, I've done it a lot. But fucking spray can, keep that shit away from the fucking blowtorch. Dumb fuck. Oh, fucking hell, man. Oh my god. When I was like his age, oh no, no, don't worry. When I was a bit younger, you know, we'd do like imitate like Jackass, right? Yeah. We like, we like, we got a few bunch of friends, we'd imitate that show Jackass, like you just throw ourselves off shit and like crash our bikes into stuff like that, like our push bikes. At no stage did we figure, hey, let's set ourselves on fire. That'd be fucking funny. Uh, Mason Dark and his friends are participating in a dangerous TikTok challenge which sees social media uses flammable aerosols to create miniature flamethrowers. What could possibly go wrong? The team nearly lost his life after the can he was holding exploded in his hands. Fuck. Covering Dude, him. They, yeah, well, this this like, is paint cans are bombs when they catch a the fire. The stupidity of it, right? Like, even me as a kid, I used to do that with, like, uh, you know, links deodorant like yeah. the the body spray oh, yeah, right, you get the Lynx body spray you get a lighter and the, the yeah. thing is is that these idiot kids don't learn these days is how these things actually work and i, I don't know Science. what it, i don't know what it was about my era uh, you know as a kid and all of that sort of thing but you know automatically for some reason nobody ever told me it was just something that i knew that if you hold the flame there long enough the flame will creep back towards the can and actually go into the can. And if you do, if you leave it going long enough, in fact, when you stop it, the flame will get sucked into the can. So you've got to stop doing it at a certain point. 
You know, it's kind of like, do you you remember, do you remember it was a a few full Aussies ago where the girl was spraying the throat spray on the outside of her throat? (laughs) And the dad and the dad couldn't believe it. You know, she's like, he's like, did I fail you? Like these kids these days are that thick. They are that stupid. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Mozza. I know it's your era and I don't think that you're as thick as some of these people. (laughs) You're pretty yeah. thick, though. But, That's the nicest thing you've ever said to Mozza. Yeah, I know. Yeah. When I say you're thick, you're fat. But um, what, what, like, <laughs> it's just, it's funny that these kids out there just don't understand these things these days. You know, it's kind of like, did you ever watch uh, the 300, the the second 300 movie, The Rise of uh, uh, yeah. Once, yeah. The Empire or whatever it's it is? Good. Remember yeah. when the... The, the big troll thing is on top of the ship because they put all the oil in the water and they're throwing flames out. And then he gets uh, speared and he goes down into the the funnel of oil coming out and the oil the flame tracks back to the ship and then the ship explodes. Like, that is how these things well, work. Well, Joe, when you were around this kid's age, 16, what was like the dumb shit that uh, people were doing? I guess boys are more likely to do dumb shit like this than girls. Yes. I don't know. I was always in very adult-like, so I don't... Uh, she I don't was remember. born an adult. I hated it. <laughs> she, oh, she was you born like a as business student in a briefcase. Yeah, I hated everybody. I was the like... Fox baby. That movie. <laughs> That's Fox good. baby. Yeah. <laughs> I would go home and read books. That's how. That's the kind of person I was. So, I went home and read books. Look at me. I'm fucked. Yeah. yeah Harry Potter books. No. I I no did you ever try to blow yourself up? Listen. No. No. She, 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 she would have blown herself up if the book that she was reading was the Quran. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's Suck a on that, Andrew Tate. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was in, I was in science that. olympiad so when we were doing shit like this it was like based off of science you know like I was building a rocket but I knew what we were doing you know so, science? yeah science we're trying to actually olympiads. fly the rocket yeah oh uh where are we at so he's unrecognizable his mother uh said uh we come to find him out of the surgery that he got third degree burns it's like <clears> he <throat> in his back and he was walking from his t-shirt uh, sorry, he was taking off his T-shirt and it got stuck or something. See, that's terrible, man. This is this is awful. Now, the this question kid is going to have... be disfigured for the rest of his life. Yeah, and he's only sixteen, man. He's probably getting like you know his first girlfriend or some shit like that. You know what I mean? If he's in like a public school, well, I guess well when I was sixteen in public schools, it was a bit different. But that's his whole life kind of fucked up, man. But yeah, his entire life of... is ahead of him. It's totally There's... different now. You'll find a way to sue the company that owns the spray cans. Yeah, you should have like, like, yeah. yeah, there'll, there'll be no after. warning on there to not light this uh paint on fire or something. Well, I mean, he, here's the thing realistically, like, if enough of these cases happen, there can be enough of a, a class action lawsuit against TikTok for promoting these type of challenges and everything. That's like, the I'm amount of people, ask. the amount of people who have been, um, you know, severely injured by putting eggs in microwaves, like, you know, how, like how dangerous that is. Like, that's that's like lava when it hits your skin, like. People have nearly died because of a freaking egg in a microwave. Yet you'll still see the trends on the YouTube, oh. you know, um, you know, trending page, the new challenge sort of thing. Like it's anyway, so stupid. But do you think this is going to add to the whole, you know, this push to get TikTok banned at the moment and stuff like that? Do you think this is going to do anything? I think no, TikTok's going to get banned for political reasons because of the CCP yeah. uh, tie, I... not because of stupid kids. I feel like they'll chuck it on though. Like as a um, if like if they're in there, they'll be like, look what it's fucking promoting. As yeah, well. it's, it's it's a scatter yeah, show. It'll be it'll, it'll just be a part they of it. They care about the money. Yeah, I don't think it'll be. I don't, I don't think it'll be the main thing, but I reckon they'll chuck it in. Um, like towards the end. Did you ever end hear or about that TikTok TikTok challenge that resulted in like thousands of cars being stolen? Yes. No. It yeah, was a, it was. The- was it Hyundai or some shit? A mm-hmm. specific type of Hyundai? They figured out yeah, like um. Hyundai. You could uh you could you could boost it pretty quickly. All you needed was like an iPhone charger because of the way it was designed. No and then shit. people put that on TikTok oh, and they were like, Hey, go steal as many cars as possible and film yourself stealing the car. Oh, and shit. apparently it's like the easiest car to steal. Like, dude, gone are the days where you had to like 
screwdriver to get in and fucking use all your weight to pop the steering wheel and shit like that, you know, and smash it up so you can fucking loosen it. That shit's gone, man. Now, you know, you just get that fucking thing, plug it in, and easiest car to steal see, ever. That car's gone, like, impossible to steal up until that point. But see, this is how stupid our society's become with all these challenges. Now, like, if you're doing, like, an ice bucket challenge, okay. Like, that's just tipping ice water over yourself. That's like, And then nominating three people or something like that. You yeah. know, the plank, the planking challenge. Do you guys remember when that fucking... Yeah, I mean, hit, you just yeah, lied right? on a, a freaking the ground and that was it. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. but dude, you do realise the amount of people that actually died planking. No, I know. There was heaps of people that died from doing planking. Why? Like, because they were yeah. they were planking. It's not the exercise. They were like doing the planking, but like in interesting places, like off yeah. the you know, like, like a tall building. Or so, yeah. The, the yeah. Did, the Victoria, did or, I know the here in Victoria, there was a guy that did planking over a train track. Or a fuck off, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy planking on a train track, and he got hit by the train. He didn't get up thinking, "Oh, there's a train coming." Yeah, like I'm doing my planking challenge. The train can wait. Like, what? People are stupid. <laughs>